builds with blocks. Constructed from 920 pieces, the Mega Constructs Covenant Needler is big, bold, and beautiful. This is Colin from Builds with Blocks with another Halo Infinite Mega Constructs review. If you like this review or any of the other content here on Podcast Evolved, don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe to the channel. Target exclusive Halo Infinite set designed for display. Previous sets include the Energy Sword, Forerunner Ring Insulation, and Master Chief Helmet. While the box doesn't include the same Pro Builders designation as the other shelf pieces, it does bump the recommended age up two years to 10 plus. Paired with a retail price of $59.99, the set is clearly geared towards an older audience than the rest of the line. These collector-focused products are a welcome addition and I look forward to seeing more sets released in the future. The Covenant Needler is modeled after the Type 33 Guided Munitions Launcher, which has a number of variants across all of the Halo games. It does a fantastic job of representing the classic Covenant weapon, but it's not a true replica of the version that's included in Halo Infinite. However, according to Mega Constructs, it is scaled to last year's Energy Sword, which shows how big this weapon would be in real life. According to Halopedia, the in-game needler is anywhere from 22 to 30 inches long, 21 inches tall, and 8 inches wide. That's huge for a weapon that looks so small in-game. Building the Covenant Needler is very satisfying. While there weren't any mind-blowing building techniques, it felt clever to build from the bottom up. The stand is simple, yet sturdy enough to support the weapon and withstand any rearranging you might do on your display shelf. From there, you quickly move to the bottom of the iconic Covenant weapon. At this point in the build, you realize how vibrant the primary color really is. Best described as Fandango, the shade of magenta, it's totally unique to the Halo line. The color is much more pink than the typical bluish purple we've seen from the Covenant vehicles in the past. I've grown to love it. Moving further up the build, you construct the handle with pins and hole bricks to ensure it's sturdy enough to wield. The barrel is a neat build and it includes a unique piece to house some transparent pink circular stud highlights. The top of the weapon is much more robust and where most of the detail is included. The shape is angled well and the use of smooth finishing pieces to hide the studs make the model look clean and realistic. The needles themselves are simple, but when applied to the top, they do a good job of representing the Blamite crystal ammunition that's so unique to this weapon. I would have liked to see them add a little more girth to the needles, but I realized the added weight might have thrown the balance off too much. The pink color the designer chose is fantastic. Stepping back upon completion, the model is much better in person than I was expecting. My biggest concern from the promotional pictures was that the beak of the weapon was too thin. However, spending time with it in person, the single stud width looks to have helped keep the scale manageable. Perhaps some slope pieces could have been added, but that's by no means a deal breaker. The model will look great on the shelf, and I'm very happy with the final build. In hand, the Covenant Needler actually felt like something that could be used in cosplays. It weighs in at about two to three pounds, so it's not too much of a burden to wield. Although I wouldn't recommend using it for heavy play unless you're willing to live with some missing needles or finishing pieces. In closing, if you've already been collecting the other display sets, then the Needler is a must add. I would actually put it a nose above the Energy Sword in terms of quality and what you get in the box. Mega has given us a great range of display pieces and the quality of the Needler has me excited to see 
what other displays pieces they have planned for Halo Infinite. Or maybe we'll see sets that take a look back to previous games now that they've unveiled the new Halo Universe series. I hope you enjoyed this review. Thanks for watching. Until next time, Evolved. Podcast Evolved, your home for Halo.